Okay, gonna do a quick review of this Harbor Freight tire changer that I bought. Um, this one, I caught Hades getting that tire off the rim. It took like 25 minutes to get the seal to break. That one right there is a fairly new rim, had a tire on it. <clears throat> um, took maybe three minutes. This one right here, I've been working on it 10 minutes. And the problem that I have, I'm going to see if I can do it while I'm on the recording. You take the, the piece that you put right here on the bead to press down. And what happens is it gets right underneath the rim and it just stops. And like right now, it's moving because I oiled it. Or well, not oiled it, but soap and watered it. So I don't know if it'll break now, but we'll see. There it goes. Um, it's a lot of work if it, if the tire's been on the rim for a long time. And the two tires that I had problems with were um, Goodyear tires. And I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but they weren't trailer tires on trailer rims. Um, somebody gave me these rims. And... Uh, I kept them because I figured I could always use a little spare tire for the trailers. Um, so that's what I do. But if I had to rate this thing, um, it's good if you're in a pinch or you have a lot of time. But old tires, I wouldn't worry about breaking the seal with this changer. If you got a tractor with a front end bucket or a bobcat, I would just take in put the bucket edge and push down and break the seals that way it'd be a lot quicker um, as far as getting the tires off oh that's no problem I haven't put any on yet but I don't foresee that being an issue but uh, as far as this bead breaking yeah it's it's not uh, not all it's cracked up to be um, would I buy it again yes um, only because now I know what I need, which is if it's a tire that's been on the rim a while, just use the front end loader to break the bead. But uh, for forty dollars, I get my money back off of changing a couple tires. So all in all, good investment, but it is a lot of work.